Hey guys, my name is Dan, and today I want to share with you probably one of the most challenging diseases to diagnose in the veterinary world, and that's going to be Addison's. Addison's is an endocrine disease, and it is when the adrenal glands fail to do their job. There are two different forms of it. There is the atypical, and there is a typical form of it. Addison's is a failure of the mineral corticoids and the cortisol from doing their job the way they should. You may be shocked to learn this, but dogs actually need cortisol to run the system that is their body. Cortisol is incredibly important for the GI tract, and without a healthy cortisol amount, you will get doggies that have chronic diarrhea, wasting disease, lethargy, just completely off. As well, guys, if you have a full-blown Addisonian dog, you will lack mineral corticoids, which affects the electrolyte balance, and this is life-threatening. The potassium will spike, the sodium will drop, and a dog's heart rate can drop too with that, and dogs can have cardiovascular complications. They can overall just pass away from the electrolyte derangements. However, with being diagnosed with a blood sample to assess the electrolytes, followed by most likely an ACTH simulation test, you can confirm that a dog is lacking cortisol and mineral corticoids based on electrolytes. Once diagnosed, a dog can be treated with steroids, like prednisone, and they can also be treated with a mineral corticoid injection or tablets. Doggies can live overall relatively normal lives. This disease can be challenging because it can change over time and get more complicated. So being on top of it and being proactive, especially during stressful times in your dog's life, is paramount. Doing routine blood tests, doing routine physical exams is incredibly important. And yes, this disease is incredibly expensive. This is going to be one of the most expensive diseases that I treat just because the injections are expensive and the follow-up care is expensive. And when they do have complications... It's expensive. Always talk to your veterinarian about what to expect if your dog is diagnosed with any form of Addison's because you are going to be in for quite the medical journey with your doggy. As always, guys, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. Hope this was crazy helpful. Remember, Addison's is the great pretender. It looks like everything.